My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Vaporum. All right, we've got a main room that we need to... Beautiful, this is it. Get back into... We've got a little bit of secret gear so far, so I have to imagine we're just a teensy bit more powerful than the game might expect at this point, which hopefully should help us deal with the fact that we're playing in hard mode. That said, if it does become too troublesome, I have no qualms stepping it down. I am not a man driven mainly by ego. What are you doing? What is that? How? Ah, okay. I guess I have to kill that with ranged attacks. Like, I can do that, but it's just going to be annoying. Ooh, there's a button. Is there a button on this side as well? There totally is. Just to straight up deactivate it. I think I should have killed it instead, though. Okay, easy. Take those. Can I activate it again? Does not look like it, I'm afraid. Uh, basic servo booster gain melee speed for a limited time. And a crude warhammer. I'm afraid we've got a much better one. Years of study we'll listen to as we have a look over these. The hunter's shotgun is also for dealing damage in a cone at a short distance. Reduce damage further away. Uh huh. Have a chance to stun enemies hit. Okay, that's actually kind of cool, though. For the moment, though. Such fond memories of my study years. The Bureau had granted me a scholarship, which I gladly repaid by pledging to work in the Arxvaporum for a seven-year term. My dreams came true. When I first arrived on Capital Island, coming from my home at Garion Islet, the astonishing sight of the labs, workshops, and all the machinery took me by storm. It was like Christmas trees covered with shiny cogs instead of balls and ornaments. It was heaven. Lots of folks grumble at the Bureau nowadays for silencing the critics and abusing power, supposedly. In my eyes, the Bureau is doing it right. Technology, order, and science should all be at the heart of society. I am where I am today, amidst the pioneers of the world, only thanks to the Supreme Bureau. Ooh. That's right, you fucking tell him, boss. Is this like more of a toggle switch? Yeah. I'll catch up with you later. Basic aim stabilizer grants precision with ranged weapons for a while. It's also a slightly better ranged weapon, slightly better. Uh, same dagger, in fact. God damn it. <laughs> Blew that motherfucker up instantly. What up? All right. Let's check our next circuit. Oh, they wanted to juggle three at the same time because, of course, the first is also a level. Okay, so... What else do I want to go for? I think it's going to be like... Because these are going to be super offensive, right? So I don't think I go dual wielding, handgun, rifle, play weapon, blah, blah, blah. I think it's either blocking or armor. I think I want to go for armor. Hang on. Negative 15% direct damage taken. Extra integrity and resistance versus... A module, when a major breach is detected, the emergency system releases a stiffening agent to stem the lack of power, leak of power rather, restoring the integrity. It takes a considerable time before the system can reactivate. Oh, okay, so that's kind of like, like a last minute, last second kind of thing. This is not, this is not for me. The blocking tree is not for me. Armorer is probably closer to something I would use. Well, is it going to be armorer or is it going to be blunt weapons? Because I'm thinking maybe I go like Warhammer and casting things. Kind of like a, a Dwarven Cleric kind of sitch. Okay, what bonuses do we get here? Chances to shock them. It's a 15% shock chance. That's not great. 
Attacks with blunt weapons give you a chance to stun the target. Okay, 15% for the stun chance as well. And splash damage is pretty good. If I'm attacking at range, I'll always just be using my gadgets instead. Is that true? I think that's true. Man, there's actually some reasonable decisions to make here. I'm going to go for armor at the moment because when my ass gets beat, my ass gets beat fucking hard. So if you could just get beat a little less hard, uh, I'd be appreciative. All right. Where are all the enemies? I've been successfully baited into the room. Now give me the enemies. Yep, there they are. Wait a second, if you're not going to make me move... Honey, dude, guy, pal, friend. You're about to have a bad time. Uh, that did nothing? It's going to be able to fire at me instantly, isn't it? Okay, so now I can... Okay, I've got this. Beautiful, one down. This one's not being dealt any of the bonus damage from the third hit, so... Yeah, it was going to take a couple more hits than the other one did. Yeah, that... If there was another enemy, like, coming out of this direction, that would have been a lot more frustrating. And a silver key. Okay, good. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, so that's our end goal accomplished. It should be safe to cross now. Now let's find the secret in this area because there's definitely one and I'm not leaving without it. Silver key. I guess it might be past the silver key area. Wait, where's the silver key door again? There we go. Yep, just put the silver key in front of the silver keyhole. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I don't really want to press that yet. Let's see what's over here. That just brought me back to the start, didn't it? Yep. 100%. <sighs> I wish I saw whether or not that actually looked like it was a wall before I, uh, before I happened to open it. Because it would give me more information about the kinds of things I'm looking for on a map. At the same time, I am going to give a good old once over to the area. Make sure that I've not completely boned it and missed something obvious. I'm waiting to figure out if there's like a secret on pipe walls as well. But I have to imagine the game would teach me that, right? The game took a moment with the L better gun or whatever it was called can't remember for the life of me uh elford something it took a moment and gave me a note to teach me hey this is the kind of thing that is secret on this kind of wall uh, i have to imagine we'd be given a note saying hey this is the kind of secret on a wall of this kind right we can't return the natural away Well, I guess I'm going to loop around for a second, see if there's anything obvious. If there isn't, I'm just out of here. All right, this goes back to the main room, which thankfully is not now just filled with enemies. But then over to this side is our intro to the puzzles in this area. None of this is dodgy so far. I kind of want to bring that back up. I feel like that would be part of Annie's secret. But at the same rate, I don't know if they would just punish me like that. 
makes something impossible to do. I can't get that brick back, so I guess I'm just done in the area. Eh. I guess that's fair enough. Yikes. Alright, then we are... Out of here. I also do have to remind myself I have a rope as a quest item that I can just use. I don't know how, but I do have it. So if there's ever a situation where I'm like, a rope would actually really... Oh, I have one of those. I'm going to try and keep that in mind. Is this... I need some string or something like it to tie the pieces together. Some string or something like it to tie the pieces. God, if only we had just something similar to... Oh, there we go. Immediately after I say, oh, just need to keep this in mind. Okay, let's have a look around. Show me what you got. We have arrived. Finally, our new home here at the Arcturaporum. I'm impressed by what the Bureau has accomplished. It's got. I need a key. Accomplished. It's gargantuan. Can't wait to unpack and start working. Being stranded here in the middle of the ocean like this worries me a little, but the tower feels strong and safe. I'm pretty sure no Kenyut will repeat ever again. The research on the Funium shows promise. Maybe I'm dreaming here, but it could just happen to be the next marvel of the world, and we'll be right in the thick of things. I'm so looking forward to taking over and continuing the project, and the best thing about it is the fusion of family and working life combined together. Ah, okay. I've, I've not been walking forwards during those messages because I don't want to trigger any voice lines that will then interrupt them. Oh, come on! That would have been my third hit. Damn it. Also, I've got to remember that I do not currently have the blowtorch equipped. Let's actually re-equip that, because I think this area is going to be more organic than mechanical. I just guess based on the one enemy I've fought so far, but 100% of the enemies that I've fought in this area so far were organic. So that's... A, that's... <laughs> what do you mean sample size? Okay. What? There we go. Okay, I guess that's how you get back, but that's going to be a rough, a rough run. Come on, and none of them are secret hooks. God damn it. Great success. Okay, we're starting to run out of inventory space. Another great success. Today, the local coordinator for the Bureau and Chief Officer of the Arcs, Marcus Reich, appointed me Deputy Foreman of Manufacturing. I'll take care of workshops, maintenance, and manufacturing itself. I'm so proud that Mr. Reich recognized my accomplishments. He's a role model to me. Not only is he an experienced scientist and a veteran of the island wars against the rebels, he's also the ideal man for the job. An excellent choice by the Bureau to lead the project. He and his wife Laura are the perfect model of how I picture my life in the future. All right, I'm trying to heal through this, but this is fucking hard. Please die. Okay. That blue hardcore. Also, that dude, I agree with our main player character, is a huge fucking nerd. Not that that's a bad thing. 
It's more that he sounds like kind of a brown noser. Mm, come on. Come on. Now I can heal again. Beautiful. Alright. Gotta be more wary about those obvious spawn points. Did I even get a key? Oh, I totally did. Okay. Show me the money. Oh, no, this is bad. Uh oh. Whoa! He has an AoE attack. I think this is our first boss. And I walked into a corner, like, fucking instantly. I have no clue. Oh my god, I haven't saved in a billion years. Was it the start of this I level? I have no idea what this monster I'm inside of is. Although I feel a little safer in the exo rig that I found, I have a suspicion there are a lot more surprises waiting for me. The weird blue substance I found in the capacitor seems to charge so, uh, and upgrade the <clears throat> So this is the start of the level. What I'm gonna do is save you a lot of time and save myself zero time. Uh, I'm just gonna cut to the point at which I actually uh, get back to that area because otherwise this is like another 30 minutes of me doing the same things again. So uh, hit him with those smooth jams, future Rhapsody. Welcome back to the show. All right, we're back. Uh, let's uh, hit that one with another save. Shit, let's hit it with another save just in case. Alrighty then. What's that? Fumium supply. Okay, so we can't force a level before we go in. I kind of want a servo booster because just being able to beat the ever loving BS out of someone seems like a great idea. But outside of that, maybe I just go basic protector. Basic Protector and Basic Discharger. Try and reduce their damage and take no damage. Because uh, I do only have two repair kits. There is only one thing that I did differently this time. And that's the turret that we previously uh, groaned about not being able to kill. Because I, I guess, just let it go back. Like, I, there, we triggered a trap that had a turret and then disabled the trap and the turret disappeared. Instead, this time I killed it. I got 20 extra fumium, so that's why I'm on a different fumium amount than I was last time. All right. Save for a third time's the charm. Let's go. Oh, now this is bad. Yeah, I'm not keen to feel those AoE attacks, friend. Really? Apparently wasn't even in range. Okay. No! Huh! There we go. Alright, if I hit this with a heal right now... Uh-oh. Yeah, no, I was never getting out of that stomp. Come on. I'm not going to hit him with the uh, basic discharger right now. Good. Because uh, I was really, really looking for that next basic protector. That's a golden key for me. Thank you very much. Uh, the fight's over. Here I thought it was. Yeah, I didn't want to go behind you because I know that you might have friends over here.
I really need to find a way to stop missing. Come on. Uh huh. Uh. Just a bit too slow on my part. There's no way that was human. Or was it? I'm not sure of anything now. Yeah, no, that was a cockroach. The other thing, though, ain't no clue, bud. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I am straight out of answers. Next level. Don't mind if I do. Ah. This will be an auto save, so I don't need to save now, but got to remind myself if something looks fishy. Oh shit, the setting changed. Now how am I going to find secrets? Gosh dang it. Haunted. The last thing I killed, it really didn't seem that human. Flesh, yeah, but there was steel and whatever that blue stuff was. This place just feels so familiar, but none of the vermin and scrap me tin men do. Okay, they all look like they're blocked from me at the moment, but this looks like a poisonous enemy that's about to come out. Come on. Pretty sure there was a left here. Well, glad to be incorrect. Oh, crumbs. Shouldn't have moved back in. At the very least, this guy ain't shock resistant. Mm, okay, maybe, maybe not backtrack all the way out of the level. That seems like it's not going to help me in my quest to kill the enemy that's in the level. I don't know. Call me crazy. Oh shit, he's totally here, waiting for me. And now he's dead. Alright. Basic acid nozzle. Is that going to be worth enough? Exude a poisonous load onto the surroundings, causing continuous area damage and administering acid to the enemies who walk through it. Uh, five damage per second for a second, second, uh, five second, uh, sorry, seven second acid effect duration. It's 35 damage, negative 50% repair power. All right, that's going to be pretty much useless for me at the moment until I start finding enemies who often repair themselves in a battle. That's not really going to have a place. Let's heal before I open a door. How about that? You know what? I fought my way through this room and then didn't loot it at all. And that's just so not me. Okay, can I not push this? Apparently not. Right, what have you? Big win or big mistake? Lucy Page. I was so excited to get into this big project, the Arx Vaporum. Finally, the Bureau had acknowledged my achievements. I could put my years of expertise to use, some real meaningful use. Only now I'm a little torn between pride and apprehension. This place, this research tower, gives me the creeps. The monster of a cage it is. Committing to live in this metallic vault for another seven years. God. My chest is thumping with anxiety, and at the same time, the excitement is unparalleled. And my new supervisor, Laura, she's obviously enthusiastic and all, but... Just a little too young for my taste, and too high-handed. With my extensive experience in physics, substance synthesis, and modulation pattern matching, she should defer to me a little. We need to utilize maximum expertise and caution when approaching such an unknown essence. Not the recklessness of an over-eager girl, sorry. I just hope I haven't made a big mistake in taking this job. Alright, so, it's worth noting... Where is she? Uh, Laura is the person that she's talking about. And Laura is also the person who approved the experiments on the roaches. That, uh, I don't know, didn't go well is a light way to put it. Fucked up royally would be probably much more truthful.
be pushed, can't be pushed. Can't be pushed, can't be pushed. This block can't be pushed. Dun 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 dun. Oh. I see you all the way over there, you acid mother flipper. Ah, damn it. Ah. Here I thought this was a perfect setup for killing these guys, but of course you don't want to kill them in close range at all. Mm hmm Because all I've really done is made myself super vulnerable to the attacks splashing on a wall behind me and then me walking immediately into them, which just fucking happened again and again and again. Oh, bugger. That should have killed you. Can't really move. Hey, level up time. All right. Second level, I think I'm going Thorma Catalyzer again. It has to be. Recharge speed hasn't been a problem for me uh, so far, but the damage that they deal is going to be a problem. Of course. Come on. Nope. I needed them to wind up and attack first. Ah. It's difficult because I'm trying to remember the map that exists behind me. Okay. Ah, died over time. Beautiful. Well... Yeah, we pretty much did need to level up right there, so this is handy, I guess. That said... I really would like if I had some health packs to rely on at the moment. Okay, please tell me that's... Yeah, it's not time-based, otherwise it'd be ticking. Okay, good, good, good. Oh shit, that just connected both sides of it, didn't it? Yeah, no, I've explored those. Alright. Well. Let's explore the... I'm actually going to pump my defensiveness for this fight. I don't know. Call me insane, I think it might be useful. Okay. Damn it. This is exactly what goes wrong in these fights. It gets the ability to push me backwards and just pushes the advantage. Tech Fuse. Okay, permanently increases your technological capacity. That is excellent. I really don't mind if I do. That is great. All right, uh, damage now 74. So it was 50 when we started. 74 represents a reasonable increase. Nothing to write home about, but nothing to ignore either. Okay. Well, it's cool. Left and then up and through. Let's have a look. Okay, Thorma Rig, we've got the ability to get 50 Fumium at any point. So as soon as we get to 660, we know that we also have the option to just level up. <sighs> All right. Well, I mean, the extra damage against uh, organic enemies from the Rusty Sword still isn't as good as the Triplicator. I guess I should still just use this setup. Yep. 
Yeah, of course, there's something behind me. I didn't know it was going to be there, and now I am very deceased. Good. All right, pincer attacks. Got to remember those exist. Let's load that last save. I was actually a lot longer ago than I thought it was going to be. Thought I'd learnt my lesson earlier this episode. Apparently not. Good. Okay, that was relatively quick. Okay, okay. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Then this is where we just were. So I do have the option of just immediately going for this fight. I think I will, in fact. Bud. You gotta realize you weren't gonna win that fight. Yikes. Okay. I need a weapon that strikes a little faster or to upgrade the strike speed of this weapon because it is becoming laborious. Why is there a chair here? Okay, I think, like, there must be a secret here and the chair is used as a marker in a note later. If that turns out to be true, I'm a goddamn fucking nos- Never mind, there's just chairs here. <sighs> Alright, and they're not indestructible- uh, Sorry, they're not indestructible. They are indestructible. They're not destructible either. Alright, what have you? Some bullets, don't mind. I'm now trying to play Sonic Recordings of the Fumium Cure, uh, Core, and dude, I'm getting some crazy results. Plants and small animals are reacting to the sound in the weirdest way. Hard to put that into words. It's almost like the Core has a life of its own, too. If only they'd let me see that thing down there in the deep. There's a rusty key for our troubles. The other path that we've already gone through has the actual lock for this, I believe. This is probably the better order to have accomplished these in. Or rather, in which to have accomplished these. Alright. Show me lever! Pretty certain there was either no fight or an easy fight up here, so... I will save again, but... Yeah, no, I know what it is. Hey, you. Oh! A crit on the bonus damage attack, no less. Okay, that was excellent. A lot better than our earlier fights. Hoarder, okay, we got an achievement for having a uh, full inventory there. Feel like we're gonna get that achievement, I don't know, a couple times of maybe? For the moment though, let's go find that lock. Wait, it's the one out here, isn't it? Wait, I never even came here. Or I totally did. Yeah, I totally did. Okay, never mind. Just dumb. Beautiful. Make sure that we haven't missed anything on the map that's obvious. Okay, can't throw across there. Can't throw across there. Yep, that looks about about as well explored as I can explore. Mm. Okay, that free look is actually super useful for checking around corners. Right. Oh, right, it just wants the two bricks. Easy. Uh, to pull one item out of the stack. Easy. 
Uh, I wouldn't be able to access them from here anyway. Damn it, we have to leave all our bricks behind. Yep, yeah, well, no points for knowing that was going to happen. Uh. Fuck. I guess the name of the game is how few of these can you activate at the same time. The answer for me is uh, all of them, actually. I, I, I'm obliged. Nothing in here. It's obviously not going to trigger anything anymore. How about this? Repair kit. Thank you very much. 117 experience before I can force a level in order to heal myself. Okay, that's another one. Where is that going to be triggered from, though? I imagine I could just straight up avoid it, but it's also experience. Is this going to work? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Hey. Come on. Why don't you come back in here? This is perfect. All right. One down. Oh, hey. Oh, I'll get to you. Just gonna wait for zero more energy. Gonna need to watch my step here. This whole place is rigged with traps. Oh, really? Is it? I hadn't noticed. Thanks for the tip, bud. Also, um, is is water wet at all? Could you tell me that as well? Sorry, it just seems like it's gonna be well within your field of telling me the absolutely bleeding fucking obvious. Ooh. I feel like I may have just fucked up there. Or not. All right, Tinker Harness. This seems like my fucking jam. All right, increases the strength of all uh, integrity and storing effects and increases the recharge speed of gadgets. And another energy cell. Okay, so... That was just me hitting that, but there was a button on the side of the wall. Got it. Okay, so hidden buttons, sides of walls. Keep an eye out for those in this area. I mean, we needed to keep an eye out for those in the previous area, but they weren't usually used for anything except, like, outright progress. Save before I get in. Yep. I should have expected that. Since the start of the game, I was thinking, mm, are we going to be able to actually find enemies inside of things? Why well, now have my answer? That's, that's, um, helpful, at least. Okay, left gear, uh, lift gearbox, rather. Okay, it wants a gear. And it won't just take a, a random item in my inventory. Really? You won't let me just break the game instantly? Oh, boo. Okay. I have to imagine that's where we're going to come out of after our journey in this area. Again, save before entry. No, I was trying to dodge that. Whoa, I'm trapped. Yep, knew that was going to happen as soon as I got trapped there. Let's load that last save, and you know what? 
get the rest of this done in the next episode. For the moment, though, my name is Prince Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Vaporeon. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourself. Vaporeon. Yeah, no, the name of the game has been what you give a what what you get when you give an Eevee a water stone. <laughs> it's actually being called Vaporum. Uh, there's a link to the Steam store page so that you can pick it up yourself in the description down below, as well as a link to the playlist so that you can see all videos on this game that I've made past, present, and future. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.